okay so here i'm trying to uh draw everything like the uh, the nest just components whatever we have and i'm trying to visualize and show you how it really looks like so currently we have just this minimal health check route and this is our code we are going to create auth uh, modules and the user module user services inside it but let's see how we are going to visualize them we already have a logger module database module config module and all art being added as the imports inside a domain module and then domain module is added inside the app module let's change the arrow and this is our main.ts which is bootstrapping all right it is bootstrapping our app and our app is getting started it is using some swagger dogs some middleware you can register all these things you can do here this is a simple you can say a uh, setup and this main.ts is exposing the port and starting our application so this is center of attraction you can say this is doing everything now coming to the main concept here this is our going to be app module and let's say we can call that as a user module okay so if these are the modules then if these are going to have a controller this is let's say controller and this is a service okay there will be other parts also uh, parts means we are going to have a dto's services dao helpers and all here also it will have a controller we don't need we just need a service here and a user entity this is auth module and this is user module this will be our uh, user controller sorry auth controller and let's say our auth service similarly you can have a dto's also auth dto or user dto or helpers and then we are going to use a strategies we will call it as a jwt jwt strategy we will we'll talk about it what it will do and uh, this is our controller so controller this whole module uh, which is auth module i mean auth module.ts we are going to write and this is user module.ts this will export a module and those modules will get added inside our domain module okay now we are going to write endpoints in the auth controller so what all endpoints you think of so the endpoints will be simple we are going to use uh, auth route a simple login we can simply do is API even auth login. Similarly, a simple register. Okay, there can be uh, other uh, the auth. I mean, login, refresh token, register, validate. This will be all oh, these, these will be the post. This will be just a get. Okay. These routes are going to be configured inside this controller. Auth controller. Okay. Then auth controller will check the payload based on the DTOs. Here we are going to define the DTOs. Okay. Uh, that will define the, that will do the validation that user should be username, email, password, whatever is inside a login payload and the register payload. Okay and then what happens is you will just send a login okay login is a public route with the login you will just validate username password and then you will just return a result what those results will be that result will contain you will just verify the password and then based on that you will return a jwt token so once you do it let's say i'm the user sitting here it will get the token from this auth controller 
I mean indirectly from the auth controller, but that is whole happening through the Nest JS app. This is end user thing here. Then user will send another request. Let's say we have a refresh token request. Refresh token request is going here. In the refresh token request, it will have user will all will already have the refresh token. In the exchange of that, we are going to return him the access token and the refresh token. Okay. So let's say you already have some old token which is refresh token and in the exchange of refresh token you wanted to get the new access token. So in that case we will validate the, the refresh token which is already in the header and based on that we will return the new access token to the user. So this should be a protected route because you need to have the refresh token being passed in the authorization header or there can be you can write a user controller also here. And you can define another API route, let's say the profile. And the API route will be simple like uh, API v1 authorization header and it will give you the own user profile. Okay, whoever is the logged in because you will be passing the token and uh, that should give you your own user profile, your role, permissions, username, email, password, address, whatever the information. So it should be a protected API, you send an authorization token that we are going to validate. So here we are going to use JWT strategy for all the protected APIs. So here with that we are going to create auth guard that is also a nest JS concept. I will just put it in caps. That auth guard, what the auth guard will do is auth guard will check okay are you passing the authorization header? Yes, then if authorization token is valid then only I will allow you to access these routes. So this auth guard will be placed somewhere here before you send a request to the service, before you send a request to the actual route. Auth guard will check, okay, the, the user is there or not, this token is valid or not, otherwise it will send for unauthorized. You cannot access this API. Or you can write a custom middleware. Auth guard will do the job because we are going to use GW2 strategy with the auth guard. That will, that will decode the token, we'll check the payload and then in the payload you will have a user ID. Then you will check if the user ID is active, active in the database. Then only you should allow user to access any protected APIs. So this is a kind of uh, setup you are going to have in this auth service. And I try to visualize it so you should be able to see things. And in these modules, auth module will also be dependent on the user service, we'll use user service. And this user module somewhere will use auth service. So the, these are like interdependent. So in Nest.js, you cannot use, you, can, you cannot have two modules which are interdependent. So we are going to use forward reference so that you can use services from one another. Or if you don't want to avoid this kind of situation, cyclic reference, then you create a new module, put the common services there like auth service there. But we will, we will be able to get through this. So we are going to use here the JWT module, Nest.js, uh, JWT is a module, I guess, the name that, that will use this JWT strategy that is really powerful. It's, it's same as the passport local strategy because here we are using username password based authentication. It will check the authorization header, will check the validity expiry and decode that uh, token, will get the user ID and that user ID will be forwarded to AuthGuard. That AuthGuard will use this JWT strategy to check if user is active, yes, let's allow user to pass through the auth guard. That's it. The auth guard you will place on top of the controllers. Okay, so it's really exciting like whatever we are doing. So let's talk about these two modules in our code base.